Hello everyone and welcome back to the Ants Underground Kingdom. This will be the first of a seven part video series about the server versus server event, Strongest Warzone. And this one will be about Monday, which is build day, as you can see here, Ant Hill Development Victory. And it's really all about the building power. I'm also in Lost Island, so there's a little bit of extra stuff that I can do. But what it boils down to, really build day is the easiest or most simple of all the days in server versus server. The buildings that are going to be worth the most are your queen, these rally centers, and depots. But you are going to want to start these much earlier in the week because high level upgrades of these buildings are going to be up to a month long when it comes to the depots and the queen. But they will definitely give you the most points as, for, as far as a single building goes. Okay? I found that after you speed those up and finish them, it's better to go to resource buildings to be more efficient with your speed ups and how many points they will give you. So just keep that in mind. Just try to start these buildings well before build day and try to time it to end a few hours after Monday, after the reset on Monday, because sometimes the Monday resets last for two and a half hours instead of the regular 30 minutes. But the other thing you want to do is stack them with these colony actions. I've waited for a building power colony action here, but it's essentially the same every time. On Mondays, there'll be a building power in the first hour, the third hour, you can use this with the one minute speed ups depending on how long of a building you have to go. You know, it could be many, many days. So sometimes you can finish this colony action just manually using speed ups. Don't use the quick speed up because it'll finish the building and there's no building power colony action on this one. But you can use manually uh, speed ups just to finish this colony action. And then, same here, and then later on, you'll actually end the building on a colony action with building power. Uh, yeah, the first hour, the third hour, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth hour all have building power as far as colony actions go. And you'll want to use a, of course, use a raspberry. Um, which I'm about to do here. Use a raspberry always before you finish, um, or before you finish some buildings, just so you get more SVS points while you stack with the colony action. It is more efficient to use uh, a raspberry near the end of an hour when there's about ten minutes left. Like, for instance, if I wanted to do this, this hour of colony action, I would pop the raspberry in the last 10 minutes, finish, finish this colony action, and then in the first 15 minutes after the colony action resets, I'd be able to finish another colony action while my same raspberry is still going. That just helps you save a little bit on raspberries, but I'm not doing that right now because I only have the one building power colony action going on. Uh, I have actually already finished most of the good buildings for build day. Eventually build day is, is a day that you can't really participate in unless you're in Lost Island like I am now, because once you get all your buildings to 25, you just can't really contribute anymore. But I am in Lost Island now, which you will get to later. And these enhancements also count towards 
the server versus server, as well as hatching seasonal troops and um, and still your just your regular buildings, and you can also build some towers and stuff like that. But but that's all in Lost Island. Um, I do have some enhancements going now, and since I just used that raspberry, I'll go ahead and finish them all off. Um, they use the same speed ups as just building buildings do. There we go. We'll finish these, and like I said, resource buildings are generally the most efficient as far as when you purely need to use speed ups, which normally I would wait for other colony actions. Um, I, I finished that one just with the enhancements. But if you look at the strongest war zone now, I'm up to 50 million points. I think I did have a couple of buildings just finished on their own earlier when I wasn't paying attention. But yeah, let's see. We're at 50 million points right now. I only have a few resource buildings left that aren't 25. Let's see if I have a a uh, level 24 somewhere just to see how many points they'll give. Let's see. I might have finished off almost all the useful. Oh, here we go. Sand pile 24. I do have of course all the upgrades from zone development that are needed. By the way, this should be the first tree that you want to max out as soon as you can because these double rewards at the bottom they boost your ability to progress more than anything else basically in the entire game. You'll get more remains, spores, just resources, everything. You should go for this double rewards as soon as you can for, for all of SVS in general. But uh, let's see how much, how many points I'll get for this level 24 to 25. We're at 50.17 million. Okay. And this is why they're efficient. Even a level 24 to 25, it's only two days. Most buildings 24 to 25 are going to be weeks and weeks long. Let's go ahead and speed this up. And see how many points it gave us. Alright, so 9.5, about, what, 9.4 million points. So, to get to... I'll go ahead and speed a few other things just so we can see the last rewards. I will wait until the last colony action for... For actually getting to 9. Which you guys don't really need to see. It's the exact same concept. But yeah, we really don't need too many speed ups for resource buildings, as you can see. Water buildings are almost useless, but I'm running out of stuff to build, so we may as well do this. I do have the enhancements too. Okay, here we go. So at queen level 25, which I'm at right now, you need 233 million points, which is quite a bit um, build day is actually one of the hardest days for a lot of people just because it uses so many resources and speed ups but once you're closer to 25 it, it gets a little bit easier because of these higher level buildings and that's pretty much it I mean just try to time your big buildings like for instance I upgraded this right now which I, I might later in the day but this is a nine day building um, that's something you would want to start early in the week and just occupy your worker the entire week so you wouldn't have to use as many speed ups especially on depots depots are probably one of the longest buildings here's 13 I know my depot level 10 right here was something like 28 days so Using speed ups to finish depots is just not as efficient because you could speed 
10 or 20, 10, 10 to 15 resource buildings with the same amount of speed ups as you would on one depot. And you'll get way more points from the upgrades on these resource buildings as far as speed ups go. Uh, resources, it's going to take a lot of resources pretty much no matter what you do. Unless you are in Lost Island like I am now, these enhancing buildings really helps. It especially helps when you have essentially run out of other buildings. And, and you know, it, it can still be a source of contribution towards SVS. As well as hatching these troops. See, that just gave me a ton of points there. That's only in Lost Island. Most of you guys aren't going to care about that right now. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll put little notes in the description. But essentially, the most points you'll get from single buildings, your queen, your ant nests here, rally centers, or the depots. But all of those buildings are super long as far as it goes for time speed ups. And once you've actually finished those, you'll want to finish off your buildings or your uh, your buildings nine shells with mostly resource buildings. I've found the healing pools aren't too bad as far as time. Um, termite farms they they can work, but they use so much fungus that it's really hard to do. These these other ant nests are fine. These really any of the smaller be uh, buildings, cocoons resource buildings, stuff like that, they will be the easiest way to get to nine shells on build day once you finish those bigger buildings. And that's it. Make sure to stack stack your SVS with your colony actions. You'll get a lot more diamonds and resources. And that applies to every day in this series, okay? Um, there is a little bit more involved on the other days, Building day is actually pretty straightforward, and that's all there is to it. Go get your nine shells every week, and you will be much happier. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time on the Gathering Day video, which is Tuesdays. Have fun out there. Bye.